This is Kevin Mayo, and today we're drinking Thomas Hooker Brewery Hashtag No Filter IPA. This is from Thomas Hooker in Bloomfield, Connecticut. They're actually one of Connecticut's oldest breweries. They've been in business for, what, 25 years now? Um, at least close to that. They've been around forever. And they make a lot of different beers. This is their first for foray into a New England style IPA. If I can read it here and get it in the light. Abundant quantities of mosaic and citra hops make this a non-filtered IPA uh, explode with tropical fruit juice. So it's their foray into the big juicy New England style beers that everybody's been brewing up here. The trilliums and the, and the tree houses and people have been going nuts for them. So I applaud them for stepping out of their boundaries a little bit and giving it a try. So let's give it a crack and see what we got. As always, if you like the reviews, please subscribe. We're always looking for new friends. And go ahead and leave comments because we love talking about beer. I mean, beer is all about conversation. Especially in a bar room. Here we go. Let's see what we got. Well, it's definitely not filtered. It's hazy, fair amount of carbonation or it's, it's bubble screaming up through it. Nice yellow, creamy yellow, creamy three finger head. So almost looks like a creamsicle. So beautiful. Let's do the aroma. So I got pine. Cut grass, I keep expecting citrus and I'm trying to pick it up and I'm not really picking it up. Ah, maybe a little mango, yeah, so let's see what it tastes like. Definitely get that burst of fruit juice, like orange juice. Pine, orange juice. Mango. Mouth feels a little thin on this. Don't pick up much in the way of the malt backbone. Don't really pick up the malt at all. It's probably not what they're trying for here. And again, they're trying to go big time fruit. So if you like the New England style beers, with lots of bursting fruit and juicy fruits, I think you'll like this one. If you're a West Coast guy and you want a really, really hot bomb and and get that big dankness. This, this is just the total opposite. Bitter wise, I'm not really getting too much. There's a little bit of bitterness at the end. It kind of builds in the back of the throat, but it doesn't really stick with you. Finishes kind of dry. Get a little resin coat on the, on the tongue. It's a nice take on it. I'm just trying to see if I can see what the ABV is. I think it's 7, 8% ABV on it. It's a nice take on it. Um, I would drink it again. <laughs> but I, I, I don't want really to say anything bad about it. There's nothing wrong with this beer. It, it, it's just not, it's just not a over the top beer. It's, it's, you know, I can remember having like Treehouse Haze and going, oh. <gasps> And I don't feel that with this beer. I feel this beer is a nice, solid beer. Very drinkable. Nothing wrong with it. Enjoyable. Would drink it again. I would love to try it on draft. I'd love to see it out somewhere. Um, but score-wise, it's, it's a solid beer. I'd say an 85 out of 100. Till next time, keep drinking.